Supreme Commander of the Allied Command Transformation, General Denis Mercier. Uh, what do you think about the Viking exercise so far? Uh, so far what I've seen is I'm very impressed by the layout of the exercise, which involves uh, many different sites and, uh, and people from uh, more than 60 nations, I've been told, and a huge number of people and different international organizations all together. And I've seen, uh, I've seen that uh, it, uh, it has started this morning and it, it already works well and that's, uh, that, that's a very impressive layout in fact. Why is it so important to participate in the Viking exercise? Uh, it's very important to participate in this exercise for me with an, my, my NATO point of view uh, because we are always uh, very keen to share lessons we can get from this kind of, uh, of exercises and especially NATO is refocusing now on more on collective defense and it's very interesting to see what nations do with uh, crisis management exercises especially with the combination of the strengths of different international organizations NATO, UN, EU and I'm very interested with, in in, uh, in, in this. Do you have any messages to the participants of the Viking exercise? Uh, first, as all exercise, I need to learn a lot from that. Uh, so uh, the first message is uh, learn, have fun, because this is uh, what uh, when we exercise, we do our job. And and main message for me is do not forget to uh, capture the lessons you identify from the exercise, because because this this kind of exercise uh, we we can we can draw a lot of lessons and learn from that. So I hope that uh, this will be captured and this is an effort to all participants. Supreme Commander General Mikael Bedén, uh, what do you think about the Viking exercise so far? Well, uh, it's, my, it's not my first Viking, but what I've seen from Viking 18 so far, coming now from Uppsala where we, we met uh, ACC and, and the logistics part, I, I mean it's, uh, uh, it's a great exercise, it's a big one, it's, it's a lot of participants and, and also for us uh, being then the, the host nation, also uh, on a daily basis being partner, a partner to NATO. This is a very important exercise for us and the start has been, uh, as always, a few days of preparing, some frictions when it comes to the, the command and control system, if I may, but, but that will be overcome be, before we're there. So, so great expectations, great spirit amongst the, the training audience. Why is it so important to participate in the Viking exercise? Well, well, first of all, again, for, for a country like Sweden being a partner to NATO and being a partner to, to the international community, this is, this is a time when you, win, when you can try your own uh, capabilities, but also to, uh, to relate, to, to uh, increase your, your network, meeting people, learning to know, also proving that we are a reliable partner from, uh, from what we, we need to be. So, so there are a lot of very important uh, areas you need to need to cover and, and reasons for, for being here. So uh, for me today, coming here to see you and all the participants, it's uh, this is really great. Do you have any messages to the participants of the exercise? Absolutely, and that first of all would be. Uh, do your very best at all times. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is the time to learn. This is the time to exercise. It. Not coming in here to be to be perfect from the beginning. And not least, look at to your left and to your right. Make sure you make friends with the people around you because that network will make a difference in the long run.